Hey guys, Jonathan here, and in today's video, I'll be showing you how to make all of the main characters from Agatha All Along, basically based off of their costumes they wear while they're walking the road, and I do want to apologize for the delay. I was actually in Europe while this series dropped, so if you're watching this way in the future, well, it doesn't matter, and if you're watching it on the day it came out, now you know. Anyways, I realize that in every episode we do get a lot of different costumes and stuff, but with my schedule right now, I just figured it would be best to play catch up and just do the main costumes, plus that's basically what most people are going to be interested in anyways. I may try to keep up with it as the series goes on and do some of the other costumes, but we'll consider this the main showcase, at least until the finale, and we'll see what happens there. This show's building up a lot of mystery, and I'm excited for that, so let's go ahead and start building the figures. All right, we'll start off with Agatha and Teen. Now, once again, we're going for their main costumes they wear while they're walking the road, and for Agatha, I went ahead and used the official Agatha skirt piece for the legs as well as the head from the Marvel CMF Series 2. The torso is actually from Doctor Who, believe it or not, and then she's just got this brown ponytail hair, and for Teen, I gave him the bunny piece here for, you know, the rabbit that we see throughout the show. Then, of course, the head is the Harry Potter without glasses head. It's a flipped around Harry Potter head. We've got kind of this uh, long curly hair here that's come in a lot of different places. The torso, ironically, also comes from Harry Potter with some gray legs to finish the look. All right, here we have Jennifer and Alice. Jennifer was a little bit easier to build. I used the skirt piece from Sleeping Beauty with the torso from Queenie from the Harry Potter slash Fantastic Beasts line of sets. Then the head actually came from the Pharrell Williams Over the Moon set, although I do believe it's been used elsewhere. That's just where I got it from most recently. Then, of course, I put the hands on to match. Then, of course, for building Alice, I used the dark blue legs and torso from Knight Rider from LEGO Dimensions or from one of the goons from Spider-Man Homecoming. Then the dull molded arms from any of the Incredibles characters from back in the day with tan hands as well as the head and hair from, I believe it's pronounced Karai, from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. If I got that pronunciation wrong, so sorry. <laughs> All right, up next, we've got Lilia and Mrs. Hart. Now, for these characters, I went ahead and used this hair that's been in a lot of, like, different LEGO City sets and stuff. Just kind of this, like, old lady perm type hair. Then the face, I believe, comes from Queenie as well from Harry Potter. I actually don't remember. I'm not exactly sure where I got that head from, but I'm sure somebody in the comments will let us know if I'm wrong. The torso comes from the Grandmaster from Thor. Then I gave her a dark red arm and a dark green arm just to kind of help balance out the colors on both sides with matching hands and gray legs. Then for Mrs. Hart, I used the hair from Mayor McCaskill from the Lego Batman movie with the torso and head from Petunia Dursley from Harry Potter with the short or rather mid-sized legs that have come in a lot of different places, but I just like showing the height difference. And finally, we have Aubrey Plaza as Rio, which I think turned out pretty good. The hair is just this long black hair. There are a lot of different options you could use. This is just the one I chose to go with. The head comes from Cora from the Tron Legacy idea set. I like that she's got a little bit of eyeshadow on there. That's why I picked that. Then the torso comes from Hela from Thor Ragnarok. You could probably use another green witchy looking torso if you wanted, but I also use the arms from Korra with the tan hands and black legs. So with that being said, let's wrap up this video now. All right, guys, let me know what you thought of this showcase in the comments down below. Be sure to hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next video.